Yo, what is up guys? Hello and welcome to a new video and to a new pure fiction. So once again, I have cleared the final stage here, uh, stage number four with almost 74,000 points. And I want to show you guys how I did it. So let's check out the stage effect. Um, it is called fictitious wordsmithing. And um, yeah, basically whenever you deal damage with a follow up attack, there's like a counter that uh, counts towards 100%. And when you reach 100%, um, the stage effect deals damage to all of the enemies. So, you know, the more damage you deal with follow-up attacks, the more bonus damage you get from the stage effect. Um, for the first battle, we have an ice and a fire weakness. So, of course, that definitely calls for a Himiko and Herder setup. Those two have a great synergy together because they just help each other out triggering their uh, follow-up attacks. I also have Ruan Mei in there. She also has a great synergy with Himiko here. She basically makes it easier to break toughness gauges. And breaking toughness gauges is exactly what Himiko helps with her follow-up attacks. And then for the final character, um, I decided on a four-star character. Another four-star character, yeah. Um, Pella is in there as well. And Pella is just... She is great because she has... First of all, she helps breaking toughness gauges because she has an ice element, right? So that helps Himiko out. She also has an AoE defense debuff, so that helps out with the damage as well. Great character overall, and she is super uh, skill point positive because she basically only basic attacks. Like, I'm never going to use her skill at all. She's only going to use basic attacks. For the cacophony for this team setup, I found the extrapolation to work especially well with this team setup. Uh, so what this does is whenever you get the stage effect, you give every single character on your team 35% of their max energy. And uh, basically what it comes down to is, you know, we get a shit ton of ultimates because of this. For the second battle, this one is a bit tougher. So we have uh, an imaginary and a lightning weakness here against Sam as the main boss. Um, I tried on a bunch of setups, but this is the one that worked the best for me. We have only one follow-up attack character in there, which is Jing Yuan. Um, and he's just <laughs> perfectly supported by, uh, by Ting Yuan, best wife in the game, by the way. And Sparkle. Um, she's great, but you definitely do not want to overcap the Lightning Lord all the time, right? So what I did is I unequipped his speed boots and I gave him attack boots instead. And then for the final character, Fu Xuan is just great because, you know, she's pretty skill point positive. She gives us a more crit rate. She protects everyone, you know, mitigates damage. She's just a great character for solo sustaining these kind of battles. And for the cacophony for the second team, I'm using the uh, Reductio ad Absurdum. Nice Latin there, right? <laughs> Actually had that in school. So the other two didn't seem to work quite as well for this team, for me. So I'm using this one. Um, and what this one does is that um, besides the follow-up attacks stacking the stage effect, um, all of your damage also counts into that counter. So this makes it basically easier to hit that stage effect without having a shit ton of follow-up attacks. And now, let me show you guys how crazy especially the first team setup is. <laughs> I cannot wait to show you guys how this team performs. It's so cool. Okay, let's get all of our stuff up. Let's engage with Pella. Okay, and look at this. <laughs> Immediately we are starting with some follow-up spamming. <laughs> And yeah, as I said, we are not going to do anything with Pella besides spamming basic attacks and her ultimate whenever it comes up. So let's just do that. Okay, 
まだ分かって人間は星空を掌握する欲望を隠さぬ私もよ<笑>こちら側が優勢です<笑>敵データし捕獲マーク起動愉快な反撃の時間です逃がさないわ<笑><笑>ね。We are now at the final wave of the first battle. The final wave already. And、um, we still didn't spend a single cycle. <laughs> we, are, we are still zero cycle right now. We are just about to turn into the first cycle. So. God damn. Now tell me this is an OP. They just keep going. They, they don't stop. Dude, we are still, we are still zero cycle right now. <laughs> it's insane, dude. There we go. Okay. The first cycle, though. I guess, I guess technically the second cycle, but we, we, spent, we spent one cycle so far. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that cool with like two four star characters and, and Himiko? So cool.、Mm, let's do. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. It's gonna be another follow up attack from Himiko. Boom, boom, boom. Now it's just smooth sailing. And obviously, the reason why we do not need a sustain character in this team is、uh, because we, we are just killing the enemies so fast. Like, they don't even get the chance to do anything. That's why this is actually so safe. And the rest in peace. So, first fight. 
maximum amount of points. <laughs> Completely annihilated. <laughs> Thanks to Herta and Himiko. Okay, so the second fight is a bit more interesting. So right at the start, immediately Ting Yuan's ultimate. It's going to speed up all of us. Now I'm going to wait with Ting Yuan's ultimate. Because we want to buff him as much as possible first. So one buff. Two buffs. And now he can use the ultimate. Boom. ないてよ。遠くへ。見つけてごらん。<笑> Mm. Okay. Need to reapply the matrix. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So I want to use a Ting Yuan's skill right now because um, Jing Yuan is going to get another turn right before his Lightning Lord hits. So if I do not refresh the buff right now, the Lightning Lord is not going to have the attack buff. So that's why, even though there's technically still one point left, I'm going to refresh this right now. And as you can see with Sparkle, even though I equipped uh, speed boots, uh, I didn't equip speed boots on Jing Yuan. We have attack boots on him. Um, he still gets his Lightning Lord to 10 stacks, so... This is definitely better than overcapping on speed. Yeah, it's, it's a bit tricky to deal with those guys. Those, uh, what are they called? Dream Jolt Troops Mr. Dome Screen. Because when you have this angry face and it's their turn, they remove some energy from your team. And when they have this happy face and it's their turn, they actually give you energy to one of your characters. So, uh, sometimes you want to, like, try and basically turn the face around with one of your autos before they get their turn, but yeah. Often enough, it doesn't work out uh, too well. <laughs> okay, so... Let's keep on buffing. Let's keep on using ultimates. And let's keep on stacking the Lightning Lord. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, we have already basically achieved 3-star rating at this point. 60k points is all you need, but yeah, let's see how far we can get. Still two turns on the Matrix. Uh... Stage effect. Okay. 
内定よここへ総滅開始I cannot wait to pull for Sam, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad they got finally announced. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great character. Like fire, especially fire, is like one of the elements that I I'm kind of missing right now. So, one more cycle to go. Let's make it count. Let's go. <laughs> I, I want to I want to give you guys at least 70k, but that should definitely work out. We get like one more lightning lord turn. There's going to be Sparkle's ultimate on that as well, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay, okay, okay. One more, one more. <laughs> oh man, dude. <laughs> I love how it just worked out that uh, we get a new record. <laughs> As I'm recording the video for you guys, we get a new record. Nice. So 75,835 points with those team setups. I would say that is um, quite good. But yeah, very safe, very powerful team comp, very, like, extremely powerful synergy, especially in the first team. I really like how this one plays out. Get your herd up, uh, use Pella. Those two, even though they are four-star characters, they are just, they are so good for this. It's insane. Now, let me show you guys some of my uh, character builds here. So, nothing too special about Tinguin, quite honestly. We have that new set here that increases damage for um, allies of the same type because she has this relic set equipped um, she increases the damage of Jingyuan by 10% because he is also lightning um, nothing too interesting about this guy right here very basic ruin Mei, nothing too special uh, my Fujuan I actually equipped this um, trend of the universal market light gun on her just for some just for the chance of some additional damage due to the burn because she was so safe that I didn't really need to equip anything else on her. The sparkle, she had the past and future light cone. I didn't do any speed management. I have as much speed on her as I can uh, while building the crit damage. And as you can see, it worked out quite well. So um, here's the Himiko. Nothing too crazy here, especially looking at the crit stats. Um, she has her uh, signature light cone though. I was lucky enough to pull that from the silver tickets. So, more, more damage for the follow-up attacks, very important for her and Herta especially. And then she also deals more damage to uh, debuffed enemies. Then we have Pella, of course. I just built her pretty safe, you know, just get a bunch of speed on her, get some HP, get some defense, nothing too crazy. Traces are also, like, at some point I stopped leveling the skill because I never use it. So we just have the ultimate and the, the talent leveled here. Then, of course, finally, our main carry for the first team, I want to say. <laughs> the Herta that I finally, I finally got her to level 80. She's using the Genius's Repose Light Cone. That's a lot of additional damage. And um, you basically have that up all the time during Pure Fiction because she always kills someone. 
I also tried out the new relic set, like this one, the Sigonia set on her. Um, it gives you some crit rate. And whenever you defeat a target, your crit damage increases by 4%. And it stacks up to 10 times. That means it's 4% more crit rate and 40% more crit damage after you kill uh, 10 enemies. And that is not too hard to do in pure fiction because there is a lot of, you know, there are a lot of uh, low HP enemies that you just kill pretty quickly. So that's basically 40% more crit damage on top of 48% more crit damage. So that's like 88% more crit damage just from the light cone and the relics. So that's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, so much for the team setups, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, it was pretty fun to do this video for you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, thanks for watching this video, of course. Hope you guys have a pleasant week. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.